Well, after a month of playing and spending a good chunk of money, I finally have my first mythic, and that's going to be the Nomad Bow. Now, I gotta say, I took a little bit of a gamble on this one here. I was using my Whisperer, which was a Legendary plus two, and I had enough extra ones where I could have taken it to Legendary plus three. But I decided, you know what, let me try this. I had to go and dismantle that one, use some of the resources out of it to go and get this Nomad Bow to Mythic. So I was a little bit hesitant. I was stuck on chapter 67. And by the way, before I forget, I do want to throw something else out there. If you're one where you go and you have to pick between the werewolf or the actual human, like a 70% chance the werewolf's going to win, and you lose on that, and you're one where you go and refresh the game, you force close, you go back in, that no longer works. You used to be able to see which one won, force closed it, go back in and pick that one. Well, now it will go and bounce back and forth. I didn't try it several times because usually when we would force close things in Artro, you'd have about four times before it wouldn't even let you go back into the game. So if you are one to do that, the most you could do is force close it and then go back in and then say, I'm going to skip it. So as I was saying, I was stuck on chapter 67, and there is one other curveball that helped me too. Originally, I had my Dragon Breath at Legendary plus two, and I was able to take that to Legendary plus three. But just focusing on this Nomad Bow itself, when I had the Whisperer at Legendary plus two, and I took this one here to Mythic, it gave me about an extra 15 combat power. So I went from 200 million to now 215 million. And where I was using that Whisperer to build around daggers, now with this Nomad Bow, we're building around crit. And that 15 million is nothing really to go and calculate by. The reason why people are using this is for that mythic skill. And that skill is going to be attack plus 10% when the weapon crits. So that means your basic attack, your counter attack, your combo attack, and even your rage skill. You may be thinking that 10% doesn't sound like a lot, but that is going to be stackable. And for some reason, I was thinking that this capped out at 10 stacks. It doesn't. This will just go until the end of battle. But if you figured you got to 10 stacks, that's pretty much doubling your attack from the beginning. Now, where that 67 was giving me troubles, I don't want to say like it was easy peasy. Yes, I did immediately beat it, but it kind of felt like I was more of a glass cannon. High attack with low HP. The big problem I was running into when I faced two mobs in a single battle, they would usually have their rage skill pop at the same time, so I got hit by two basics, two rages, and that was enough to shut me down. So I really relied a lot on Icy Touch to go and freeze one of them and kind of make it where those rages didn't pop at the same time. But every single one, it brought me into the red and luckily little Ellie would come out, heal me up, and I was lucky enough to get past this one. Now once I got past 67, 68 was a breeze, 69 was a breeze, those were both lucky merchant ones. 70, I did struggle a bit. Those are the ones where you go and you pick your five abilities, then you go in and you face five different mobs all the way up to round 30, then you get to pick five more, and then you face two mobs and then the final boss. And that one was just a matter of getting the right selection of skills, but eventually that one really wasn't too bad either. I think I beat it like on the third try, and now I'm sitting on chapter 71 and I haven't even given it a shot yet. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I actually am questioning now if the Whisperer is going to even compare to this thing when I get it to Mythic itself. It's gonna take a long time before I get there. That's going to give some crit rate increase and some crit damage, but this thing being that it's just gonna nonstop stack on it, it's pretty OP. If you know me, you know I love just kind of seeing that attack go up. I love War Veteran, which by the way, going and getting this with War Veteran or even combo proficiency, this is an absolute beast and I feel bad for any of the mobs I'm going up against. I don't know why I'm saying proficiency, I think I'm thinking mastery, but either way, combo mastery, crit mastery, these are both going to be working incredibly well with this. And I take that back. It used to be called proficiency, now it's called mastery. So either way, proficiency, mastery, they're both the same thing. But even heavy attack was the other one I was getting to, and that's going to increase the crit rate. So really, anything that's going to help you with those basic attacks or that rage skill, get them to pop off more, and then obviously critting is going to make this thing an absolute nightmare. So I gotta say, I really felt like I rolled the dice on this one here, and this thing is absolutely awesome. I can't wait to go and think about leveling this up some more, or even get my other gear and just see how far I can push inside the game. If you wanna know more about reduction, which by the way, they're changing it once again on us, this will at least let you know what all these skills do. Take a look at this video right here. Thanks for watching, and remember, I pick my butt.